Hello, once again! You didn't think this video would be coming, coming at all, would you? Hello, the name is Julie Sneezer, and welcome back to F1 Championship Edition, otherwise known as F1 2006. Where I last left off, I don't remember because it's been so long. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think it was uh, Monza, I think. Right? I don't know, I, I probably add in some kind of edit and post, uh, post-production to, to correct myself, but anyway. I, but the one thing I do remember is I screwed over Michael Schumacher at Monza. And I also just remembered that as of this recording, Mick Schumacher will not be a part of the Haas F1 team for 2023. I have no face cam for a reason, you know. It's so you can't see the tears that are flowing out of my eyes. Whatever. I, di I digress. I think I used that word correctly. Today, we are heading to China. To be more specific, Shanghai for the Chinese Grand Prix. So, let's advance that time. Okay, let's head to the Grand Prix. Alright, the race car evolution. This shouldn't take too long. I'll be back when I'm finished doing this evolution thingy. Q transition. A few moments later. Okay, so I freaked that up. Um, this is not gonna go in the video, but I pretty much just freaked up the race car evolution. Thirty-seven minutes passed by like that, and I only crashed once. And for some reason, I ran through the time. Maybe time flies when you're having fun, but I really wasn't having fun. I was just trying to get to grips with the track, but. Apparently the time went all the way down, and I thought there would be more than one, more than one Friday practice, but no, I, I just went on to Saturday qualifying, and now, well, fuck it, <laughs> let's just get on the qualifying then. Welcome to the Shanghai Circuit in the far east of China. But before we get that, put on softs, softs, because I don't know how, I don't know how this is gonna go. Well, all right then. So I guess, other than the front wing, uh, no, not the front wing, both wings of my car. So aside from that, my suspension, my my suspension settings, my camber settings, those should all be from the Monza uh, Monza spec. Where uh, they should still have the same setup as. Uh, as uh, my setup in Monza, I, I I could go and change it, but I don't know a thing about tuning, so yeah, that's why I like race car evolutions in this game. I can just they can just put on a preset for me. I go out and drive, and I review the lap times. So yeah, and. Here we go. First time to lap. Let's see how this goes.
All right, what are we gonna get? 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 A one minute thirty six point eight. Well, that is faster than what I had in uh, Friday practice. So, okay. Let's hope I don't outclass the field again, because I really shouldn't be in a Toro Rosso of all things. That's like saying a Haas could beat a Red Bull. And after watching the Brazilian sprint race this year, sadly, that does not turn out to be the case. Man, Kevin Magnussen on pole in Brazil. Pinch me. I should have been dreaming. So that was pretty, pretty good. But whether I'm actually going to stay on pole remains to be seen. I do not like what I'm seeing. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have gone out on softs. <gasps> Oops. <laughs> Almost a second faster. Well, I'm sure I'll get outclassed eventually. Eventually. Well, this ain't good. Okay, I'm gonna have to change tire compounds for the next one, but... Well, that's Q1. Done. I'm on pole, where I really shouldn't be. And on to the next one, then. Second knockout session where we'll decide grip positions 16 to 11. My boy speed. At least you're not in dead last. Complete, the numbers are That's better. I should get a more realistic lap time. Hold from 22 to 16. This session Let's go. The final shootout session. Let's reset the clocks and get on with the action. All right, first time to lap, starting now. All right, what what time are we gonna get? A oh, one minute thirty-seven point zero. Well, that's not very good. I think only one other driver got a one minute thirty-seven. Aw, oh, shit. Well, at least it's Q two and not Q three. Okay, wait, no, no, not okay. Dang it, Fernando! Someone please outclass me. Why? I, I, I shouldn't be here. Dang nabbit, can I have softs on again? No. Well, I'm a, I'm, I'm a bit on a timetable here. So I'm going to have to speed things up. End session. Now we're down well, to the final ten. I'm going to slow down just before the finish line. Oh, and there's another thing I wanted to say before it completely slips in my mind. Um, I'm playing Gundam Evolution, which is basically Overwatch, but with giant robots. Sounds cool, doesn't it? Well, the game is, is not, in itself is not perfect. Well, no game is. But, it's returning for a Season 2 in about, as of this recording, around two weeks. So, if any of my 8 subscribers can tell me, or want to tell me, if you want me to see me 
play and suffer while while piloting a giant robot, then let me know. Alright, first time to lap. Let's do this thing. All right. Whoa, 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 don't crash. Okay, I'm slowing down. Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, maybe not that slow. I'll settle with 10th. I'll settle with 10th. But again, I am on a timetable, so let's end this session already. See, this is more like it. Me in 10th and Schumacher in 1st. Looks like the universe is correcting itself again. All right. On to the race we go! Hello and welcome to the Chinese Grand Prix, coming live from the spectacular Shanghai race circuit. The first Chinese Grand Prix took place in 2004. Although a relative newcomer to the F1 calendar, the Shanghai circuit, designed by the famed Herman Tilke, is state-of-the-art. It's also the most expensive Formula One facility ever made, costing a staggering 240 million US dollars. Thankfully it's dry here, but the temperature has dipped somewhat. Michael Schumacher will start from pole. Second on the grid is Felipe Massa. They're followed by Fernando Alonso in third. Fourth is Rubens Barrichello. Row three and fifth place for Giancarlo Fisichella. Juan Pablo Montoya takes sixth. Seventh spot on the grid for Kimi Raikkonen. Jensen Button rounds off the top eight. The grid is clear. Wait. Wait, wait one motherfucking second. Yeah, the drivers are ready. And the drivers set off on their formation lap. It's forming time. All right. What am I aiming for here? Right, right. Yeah, nothing's gonna go wrong this race, right? <laughs> well, at least I'm far away enough from the Ferraris, so... Hmm. 
Man, these front tires are impossible. They are a Michelin, after all. Yeah, nothing like flat spotting my tires, huh? Alright, approaching the final bend. Or approaching the final... That was good. A good tire warm-up. Toyota's done for. Oh, the Toyota, that Toyota's done. I am scared. I tapped the McLaren. Fear! I have fear! Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Sauber! I'm going defensive! But I have fear! I'm going wide! Jeez. No. God damn it, Salver. Move. Move forward. Dang it, Salver. Move. That might be the title of the video. Just dang it, Salver. Move. Well, don't move out of the way because we're racing, but just move forward a little quicker than me, please. Or I can get into the toe and push my little engine to its limits. He backs off. And I make the move stick. Let's go. Ninth place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sauber came in like a torpedo. Kvyat, is that you? Or more like, a, a more up-to-date reference would be, George Russell? Is that you? It's the Jorpedo! <laughs> That's not my joke, by the way. Someone on the Formula Dank subreddit came up with that one. Oh, shit! He braked early. That scared me. Down the inside! Whoa! I spun! I spun? No! Curbs, you bitch! I'm getting closer and closer. You'll love to see it. Oh shit! How's my front wing still intact? Come on, come on, come dang it! My engine's too weak! No! Dang it, Heinfeld! Dang it, Sauber! I'm overtaking you in the pit lane. Frick you. <laughs> I just pulled a Seb. Let's go. I just pulled a Seb. And I think that was like, what, 2016 when he overtook two cars in the pit lane entrance? <laughs> That's funny. Eight point eight. 
That might be better than last time. And I'm ahead of the Salber. Let's go. Cool. Dang it, no. Ah! Frick! Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh. Sorry, Fizzy! Didn't mean to do that to you. But it's your fault for breaking so early. Well, I guess it's the Renner's turn to be fucked by me. I'm gonna be fucking everyone now. That, out of context, just sounded wrong. Even with context, it sounds wrong. I apologize. Cool. But I feel like I don't deserve the sixth position. Oh, almost went into the back of the Honda. But I might pass Barrichello. Cool. How? Nani? Nani? Will the Renault be able to catch up to Shumi? Let's see. I'm gonna place my bets on no, but... Well, Ferrari needs this after what happened in Monza, so... Maybe it's for the best. Alright. I'm passing Barrichello! Break the toe, break the toe. There you go, that's some textbook defending. Michael Schumacher powers across the line to take top spot on the podium. Alonso should hang on just Bruh. a second. Well, I guess after what happened in Monza, he deserves it. Good race, everyone. Finish within the points. But, uh, I kinda screwed over Fizzy. Oops. You know what that means? It's Fernando's turn next. <laughs> what a race. Wonderful stuff. Shanghai has provided yet another fabulous Grand Prix for us to absorb. This track seems to get better year after year, and thankfully, there were no dislodged drain covers to contend with. What? But overall, I think the Chinese race organizers can be very proud of the show they've put on there. So well done to them. Next, it's over to Japan in seven days' time for the penultimate round of the 2006 season. As always, it should be a huge technical effort to get these cars tuned just right for those sweeping S's and the wonderful spoon curve, as well as keeping it on the track for the 290 km per hour, 130R. I can't wait. See you next week. Thank you and goodbye. Hey, speed didn't place dead last again. Good going. Let's see, the driver standings. Michael Schumacher takes over takes over the driver standings. He is now leading the championship, followed by Fizzy Keller. And then uh, I didn't get to see it. Oh well. Hey, I'm in the top ten of the driver standings. Let's go. And my boy Speed still has zero points to his name. But he's not in dead last. Uh, Scuderia Toro, so Cosworth is sixth in the constructor standings. And Ferrari takes over the constructors. They are now leading. They might win. That was actually one of the most exciting ones I've had. Even if it did come at the cost of another driver. Again. Okay, so that's it for this uh, this video of F1 Championship Edition. Stick around because we're heading to Japan next at Suzuka. And then for the final race of the season in Sao Paulo in Terlagos. But until the next video... See you later.